Hey, it's Gary Dean, Gary Dean Detailing, DetailJuice.com and RawDetailTV.com. I'm about to start working on this Ford Model A. About a week ago, I came in and got it all cleaned up, clay barred, and then I did a test spot on this. It's been repainted, I'm sure, but this is basically the test spot I did just obviously this section. To show the owner what was possible on this thing, he wasn't gonna do anything with the paint. He literally just wanted me to wash it and clean it up. But then when I showed him the potential, uh, the situation changed quite quickly. He was very impressed with this. I mean, all I literally used the orange buff and shine four inch pad and Minzerna uh, FG 400 on this. I'm probably going to rock and roll with the same combo, but I also got the touch-up paint to touch up all these little areas, all the small chips that I can get to. And so that's the plan to get all, all of the haze gone and to clear up the black. I'm also going to start by cleaning and conditioning the original leather. Uh, I'll also also clean the wheels because those are pretty nasty. I just I haven't done anything with that. In fact, after I got done cleaning it last time and clay barring it, and then did did the test spot, it was it was too late to uh, do any more uh, because I was working on that uh, Ford Deluxe over there, which you'll see on YouTube soon. Or actually, by the time I get this video up, that one will already be on there, as well as the Chevelle that I did. Uh, you've already seen the Pontiac GTO, I believe that's up, and the Corvette over there. Also have to put up the video of the Cuda that I did. So I've done all these cars except for this Model A now. So anyway, I'm, it's all prepped and ready, basically. I gotta clean the wheels. Those will be black and nice when I'm done. He has brand new tires he's gonna put on over there. And then after I'm done with the correction, I'm going to go ahead and do all the touch-up. So I got my, my kit ready. I'm going to start on the leather and clean it with my Infinite Purpose Cleaner and a boar's hair brush. Get it nice and clean. Then I'll use my rubber leather vinyl and plastic conditioner uh, to hydrate everything. So without further ado, I'm going to rock and roll. I'll do some more test spots so that you can see the 50-50s. But that's where we're at. Time to rock and roll. All right, I've got the interior all cleaned up. I used my Infinite Purpose Cleaner and a, a very fine boar's hair brush to clean all this leather. This is the original leather from this thing. Um, door panels. Got those all cleaned up. Uh, cleaned all of the paint. I'm probably going to polish the paint here uh, and then the dashboard. I'll probably hand polish the steering column and most likely the steering wheel. But I got all the leather cleaned. That's what came off the leather. It's pretty nasty. Leather and door panels. But I'll get this conditioned after everything dries and it will be nice and dark and nice and very hydrated. I'm gonna use my rubber, leather, vinyl, plastic protectant from detailjuice.com. This stuff works awesome on pretty much everything you use it on. Uh, it will hydrate and protect. It's water-based, so uh, exterior applications uh, will tend to wash away with a few rains, but uh, for interior, it can last a couple months uh, with no problem. It has UVA and UVB inhibitors in it, which means it will protect from the sun's harmful rays. Anyway, I'm going to try to get some of the suspension cleaned up too and definitely get the wheels clean. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is just jump on the, pop, the compounding and then I'll, I'll polish it out. So I'm going to get to work. All right, I didn't plan to clean this engine bay, but I am gonna clean the engine bay. It's kind of where I'm at. I can't, I just wiped down just the horn and top of the uh, valve cover. 
and the jam here and it drives me crazy i can't just do the correction on the paint and clean the wheels and stuff and not clean this engine bay so i'm gonna do more than i'm being paid for because i'm ocd so i'm gonna get this straightened out and we'll be right back all right at this point i got the uh, engine bay detailed I just couldn't leave it how it was. I don't want to do any more than that just because I don't want to be too abrasive or invasive on the situation that's going on down there that is uh, 95 years old. So I'm gonna leave that like it is. It looks a lot better. Um, at this point, I have polished the entire driver's side of this thing and it looks amazing. Uh, my goal here was not full defect removal. Uh, it was really to get rid of the lighter scratches and enhance the gloss a lot to remove all that oxidation. And I definitely have done a fantastic job of that. As you saw by the 50-50 shot earlier. I mean, this whole side looks amazing. It's very dark and rich. See all the gloss. So, like I said, we've got the whole driver's side done. Got that engine bay on this side complete. I still have to do the other side, but um, it's all done. You can see the difference, huge difference in this side versus this side. And just where my polisher stopped right there, you can really tell how hazy it is. I mean, this is really turning out nice. I really enjoy working on a single stage lacquer. They always turn out so fantastic. So I am gonna keep on cranking on the driver's or the passenger side. So we'll be back soon. All right, I've got all the paint uh, com compounded and polished, got all the wheels clean. I just sprayed some of my protectant from detailjuice.com on this side of the leather. I'm just gonna wipe it in. Let it do its thing. It's uh, really good at hydrating and darkening without leaving a, like a snotty, nasty look to it. This leather's pretty dry. I my, the owner and myself, we both believe this to be the original leather leather interior from 1920 21 i should say i'm sorry this is a 1921 ford model a so just wiping it in and you'll see the difference i mean look how dark and rich that looks no snot probably go to the other side and show you the difference i still have to put that it was mounted right there i removed that so that i could polish the step but i don't know if you can see yeah you can see how dry that is compared to that very hydrated over there but not slick and slimy it looks really nice makes the leather look a lot newer and well kept so Whew. All right, cool. I'm going to finish this up and then I will wipe the exterior down and put some juice boost all over this thing. And then uh, I'll do all the touch up. Well, I'll do all the touch up, then I'll put the juice boost on. So, got a little bit more work to do after this seat. So, check back. All right, it's been a long day, but this 1921 Ford Model A is finally complete. Got all the wheels cleaned. But what I really focused on was the defect removal and gloss enhancement. So to remove the defects as best I could without cutting too much of this lacquer off, I used uh, Minzerna Fast Gloss 400. So Minzerna FG 400 with orange buff and shine, five and a half inch and four inch pads as well as a orange hand foam 
uh, polishing pad. I had to hand polish a lot of the nooks and crannies. I still haven't put that uh, guard back up here, but got all the touch up done. You can see these areas. Not perfect, but we weren't going for that. We were we were looking for this thing to look a lot better than it did. He's gonna drive this thing, put around town, and that's it. That's what he's gonna do with it. Had to do a lot of touch-up paint in here, a lot of scratches. I cleaned and conditioned the leather really well. It looks awesome. I uh, cleaned the engine compartment. I'm not gonna take it all apart again because it's kind of like, wouldn't say jerry rig, but it's just, it's back together. But you can see the tremendous gloss that you get from this black lacquer paint. I love it. I really have a great appreciation for this era of automobile. I never really liked these too much. I never really, loved cars from the 20s and 30s but having just worked on one and you know it's weird uh, i feel like i'm one with the car you know it's like um i don't know uh maybe it's weird but when i'm working on a car it's like i'm um i'm a part of it or it's a part of me and i try to give it all i've got i know that's crazy but i'm a real car car guy at heart I love vehicles. I love the soul that these things have. You know, the, the cool thing about these vehicles from back in this era, they're so simple by today's standards, but they were so complex by the standards of 1921. I mean, this thing, it's beautiful. It's a piece of art. And uh, I'm just proud to have been able to uh, bring it bring back some life to this old school paint job now i don't believe uh that this was the original paint but it really looks fantastic i'm happy with the result compared to how it was prior to me doing anything with it and um yeah it looks awesome so it was really an experience that i hadn't had before i you know i i i did all the paint correction on all these vehicles at this point. Uh, the 65 GTO, 66 Chevelle, um, the Cuda over there, the uh, 67 uh, Corvette convertible there, the 40 Ford Deluxe. I mean, I've, I've detailed all these vehicles and uh, I don't know, just seem to connect with this one a little bit more. I would say my favorite vehicle in this collection would have to be the Chevelle. I don't know, I just love it. So anyway, 1921 Ford Model A, done. Um, I, like I said, fast gloss uh, 400 on the compounding. Then I used, um, I used, uh, what did I use? I forgot, oh, Sonax uh, Perfect Finish uh, after that with the buff and shine white pads to get the shine that you see. Good stuff. Then I applied the touch up paint, then I hit the whole thing with my juice boost. Give her some protection. She's gonna sit inside. Doesn't need real heavy duty uh, protection. Sits in here most of the time. I'll be maintaining all these cars, so that's pretty cool, uh, but Anyway, all done. If you have any questions, just let me know. Check out detailjuice.com for some pretty fantastic detailing products. Uh, if you need your vehicle detailed, give me a call, 813-846-4406. I'll take care of it for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.